Now that we understand how angles in the same segment work, let's, let's do a practice example. So we know that angle B is 30 degrees, and so let's start off at B and work our way backwards to see which letters came together at B. So if we start at B and we go down this line over here, we would get to C. And if we go down this line over here, we get to F. And so C and F are going to be the, num the letters that we really need to look at. So let's go, for example, up this up to E. Now let's see, can F get to E? Well, let's go. So it goes along this line. And there we go, it gets to E. So that means there is a relationship between E and B because they came from the same starting letters, C and F. Now if we connect C and F together, we can see that both E and B are above the dotted line. And so that is a good thing. That means that they are in the same segment. Therefore, we can say that angle E is going to be equal to 30 degrees. So angle E will be equal to 30 degrees, not 15 or 60. It's only when the angle's at the center that we have to halve it or double it. But when they are both on the circumference, well then they are equal. And so the, the reason for that is angles in same segment. So we've realized now that E and B have something in common. So let's start off at C and F again and see what other angles we could find. So let's try get to D. So C does connect to D and F also connects to D. So C and F also form D. And so because of that, D will also be equal to 30 degrees. Once again, because of angles in the same segment. So notice it's because C and F, well, they came together at E. They also came together at B. And now they're coming together at D. Last one we need to check is, do they come together at A? So let's try get to A. We'll start at F. That gets to A. And if we start at C, does that also get to A? Yes, it does. And so because of that, we can say that angle A is also equal to 30 degrees. We must just be careful. If we look at the dotted line that connects C and F, is A on the same side of the, as the dot of the dotted line as angle E, B, and D? Well, yes, it is. And so we can definitely use this theorem. However, if angle A, for example, was somewhere below, such as over here, such as this angle, then it wouldn't work because then all of these angles, E, B, and D, would be on this side of the dotted line, whereas this angle that I've just formed would be underneath. And so then you wouldn't be allowed to use it. But in this example, A, D, B, and E are all on the same circle segment. And so we can say that angle A is 30 because of angles in the same segment.